my name is. And are we live? We're live. Are we live? I don't even know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, great. Welcome, everybody. This is Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach, using live.tv for the very first time. Uh, so bear with me. Uh, I'm trying to do a Facebook Live with my friend, Nicola Grace, all the way from Australia. Hi, Nicola. Hi. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh, and uh, so I'm doing this inside my group, my Jumpstart Your Marketing, Jumpstart Your Business group, because I really want those of you in the group to start engaging more. I find a lot of value in the groups that I belong to on Facebook, especially. And um, I find that <clears throat> uh, when I engage and I engage in conversation and I comment and I watch people and I give them feedback and stuff, my, I mean, I, I join. I get more joint venture opportunities, I get more speaking opportunities, and I just build relationships all around, which is all good, right? Sharing the love. So that's why I'm doing it here. I'm excited to talk to you today with Nicola, and I'm gonna introduce her in just a minute, but we're talking all about monetizing your life mission, your purpose, your passion. What is that and how can you expand it? How can you figure out what it is, first of all, but then expand it and build on it and evolve it and really monetize it more. So that's what we're talking about today here on Be Live. Uh, and let's see. So I want to share with you a little bit about and make sure you comment and tell us you're here too, because I want to interact with you on here as much as I can figure out how to do that. So <laughs> and if you're watching the recording, then um, then please comment. Uh, we do want to hear from you, and I'm sure Nicola, after the broadcast, will share and comment with you too and connect with you because we're here to help you be better coaches, uh, speakers, authors, and entrepreneurs so that you can make a lot more money doing what you love. At least, uh, so let me introduce my friend Nicola Grace. So she is called the Mission Mentor, and she's an author, speaker, trainer, and visionary, like I said, from Australia, and you're gonna find her quite fun today. Uh, but from cancer to making history, saving a billion dollar industry from ruin, award-winning strategist and best-selling author, Nicola Grace, helps social entrepreneurs clarify and monetize their mission so they can leave a legacy. Nicola's intuitive visionary strategy skills have made her the secret weapon of politicians, business owners, social entrepreneurs, social innovators, thought leaders, and an entire industry body. She has written the book called uh, More Better. Let's see, I can't read the title without my glasses. <laughs> uh, the world's leading experts reveal how to get more out of business and life with better results. And uh, she's gonna tell you all about that and more. Welcome to the show, Nicola. Uh, hi, hi Katrina. Hi everybody watching and those watching the replay. It's great to be here. We're gonna have fun as you said. We both laugh a lot. When we did an interview uh, a week back or two weeks back, we did a lot of laughing, did we not? We did, and it was pretty funny because I it was my first time on Be Live with you, and thank God you were the host the first time out, and then you're walking me through it here. This is what you got to do. You don't know how to do it. You just set a date, and that's what we did. We just set a date. And people say to me all the time, well, I don't know how to use the technology. Well, get someone else to show you and like this, but do it live and just – get over yourself you know my my friend carrie always says go ugly early and just get it out of the way <laughs> oh i like that go ugly early that's awesome that's a gem that's awesome i know carrie has ugly been. Early. i can relate to that <clears throat> tell us um how how life is over in australia first of all i want to hear just a little bit about where you are you're, i know you're on the beach every day right yeah, I am. I live in uh, I live in Noosa, which is a sort of a subtropical paradise. And in summer, it's very tropical. We get up to like about 30, 35 degrees. So it's wet weather when you move. And uh, and in the winter, it's pretty mild. So um, I can get onto the beach all year round. Can't swim all year round, but I love the beach because um, I'm all about nature. I'm all about helping people build their businesses according to the laws of nature, you know, merging the law of purpose with the law of attraction, boom, and then you've got the attractive factor um, on steroids. Um, and I find rejuvenating at the beach helps me tune in to nature and just get really, you know, really sort of open to whatever it has to teach me. Awesome. Well, we want to jump right in today because this is not going to be an hour. This is going to be a short wham-bam 
Thank you, ma'am. Kind of like interview here because it's internet, right? And I know your guys' spans are, attention spans are low. So we're going to get to it. I want to talk today about jumpstarting your, um, let's see, oops, let's see, jumpstart your purpose, grow your business, and get better results. Is there, like, the, tell us why we're talking about this today and what the biggest mistakes you see are with entrepreneurs not doing their purpose. Yeah, really good question and an important question to be asking at the moment. I mean, I think the number one problem that new clients come to me complaining about is they're out there marketing themselves and they're not getting results. People aren't, f aren't fired up about their message or their message is not articulated very clearly and it's missing the mark. And those are symptoms of not being really clear on why you're really here, what you're really here to do how you're here to show up in the world, how you're here to serve, who you're here to serve, and what message you're here to deliver. And those are all really core elements of your purpose and discovering your mission in life that gives you the details to be able to put everything together and create, you know, to create that resonance factor when you're resonating with people. So I think it's really important to results today to be in total alignment. Another reason is people are craving authenticity. So if you're out there wanting to make money, wanting to make money, you know, those days are coming to an end really clearly. And there's a lot of people online that are, you know, faking their results to sell programs that are no longer working for them, but work for them in the past because the world shifted. But that's what they've got to teach. So people have got all of this false hope that you can achieve this simply by doing that and then they're getting disappointed. And I know this because all day every day when I'm doing discovery calls and strategy sessions with people, they're complaining about having done programs and it not got the results. Complaining about doing their marketing and it not going doing the results. So I have an inside out approach by going, well, let's go back to the drawing board and build the foundation of your business. What is your core message? How do you articulate that? And where is that aligned at that purpose level? And all those elements that I told you about, um, we put together. And then finally, the last reason why it's so important to start aligning more fully to your purpose within your business is according to the Edelman Trust Barometer last year, I should say that again because you might not have understood my accent, <laughs> the Edelman Trust Barometer. <laughs> okay, yes, thank you for repeating. <laughs> I just heard myself and I went, oh, that's my Kiwi accent coming out there. You might not have understood that. Um, <clears throat> every year they do a survey of the consumer population to see trends, what the values are in the marketplace, and this thing called purpose started showing up in 2008. And every year it's increased as a buying factor decision. So in 2016 that reached tipping point at 50%, which means 50% of people that are looking at you and deciding whether or not to buy from you want to feel a sense of purpose in the exchange as well as a sense that they're contributing to the greater good. So, and it's it's no longer just, hey, I donate to, to charity if you work with me. It's like, that's not good enough anymore. It's got to be more than that. So we've got this thing called social capital. We'll talk about monetization later. When you get to that, when we get to that part, we'll talk about how you have to have social capital in your messaging, in your marketing now to fire up and how you find that social capital is what's your purpose? What are you here to do in the world? And what's your life mission? That's going to give you that feel good factor that you can pass on to your potential uh, customers and clients. That's awesome. So how does someone, if they don't know, because a lot of entrepreneurs do come to me and they aren't sure really what they should be doing yet in their business or what they should be doing for a business or what their purpose is because maybe they've been in a job and they've kind of numb to being able to go after their dream and so they've forgotten what that might be or haven't even discovered it. What's a good couple things they can do to really discover your purpose? Um, that is a really good question and I know there's so many people out there that are teaching you can discover it in a few minutes and that that just sends people into confusion. And again, I know that because I'm doing the strategy sessions with people all day, every day who've said, I've done all this purpose work and I'm still confused. It's layers. I mean, purpose involves a lot of things. Purpose has actually nothing to do with your vocation or with a business or with a job. It's way more broader than that. So it's the filtering down into, well, how does that become a job, a career or a business? Um, that is where, you know, where you need the help. And, 
you start with the self-discovery work, obviously. I mean, I, I always teach that our soul's always leaving us clues as to how we're supposed to express ourselves, what our soul expressions are, where we get fired up and excited, and we're just not listening or we don't know how to decipher the clues. So the first thing you can do on your own is um, start to look at all of the random ideas that you've got and you're discounting and you just go, oh, yeah, no, I'm not going to listen to that or I'll put, look at that later and really start paying attention to those random thoughts because in my experience a lot of the time those are the very things that you're supposed to be looking at doing next and starting to put into your business that's awesome and sometimes yeah it's just a matter of sometimes brainstorming it with somebody else I, I know that I like to pull that out of people too and just say oh well, what this sounds like it's really important to you why don't we go start there and sometimes you have to be open to the evolution of it right so whatever sounds good today may not be what you end up doing next year because you haven't thought about that yet and you haven't learned what you need to learn in order to evolve your mission or your passion and purpose to that right or been yeah exposed. i mean yeah really good point i mean you said evolve your purpose and mission because purpose does evolve which is why you can have a sense of a higher purpose you feel like you've fulfilled it and you're on track and then you feel like oh you're no longer on track anymore and you might second guess thinking maybe i wasn't on purpose and you were is it's time to evolve because our purpose is our way to evolve and expand and it's always a little bit outside of your comfort zone so you're only ever moving towards it and and then moving towards higher and higher purposes so where I focus people in my work is on your core expressions how are you here to express yourself are you a writer a speaker a connector a communicator a traveler a visionary um, a healer like you know there's like thousands of expressions and we all have about five to eight of them and this is where I'm talking about the law of purpose meets the law of attraction to create the attractive factor when you're in those expressions in your business you create that pull towards you and people all of a sudden start <clears throat> hearing you in a different way or you know you've well, like I said you've got that attractive factor <clears throat> so to give you a tangible example of that, I had a business where I was doing a lot of teaching because I thought teaching was my purpose and that I was about teaching transformation. And then when I did the self-discovery um, process and soul searching process that I've designed that I help others with, all of a sudden I realized, no, I've got other soul expressions that make me feel passionate. But not only that, I'm really good at naturally. And when I do it, I've got this kind of mojo. So those two were writing and speaking and traveling. So when I started traveling as a speaker and when I started writing, all of a sudden, without actually getting out there and selling things, I'd get random calls or random emails or messages and people wanting to work with me. And I investigated that further by working on this with other people. And I started to see that same attractive factor. When you align to all of your core expressions, that's when things start to get a little easier and also a lot more fulfilling. And then you've just got to have the right monetization vehicle to back it up. So I would imagine that's something called your Mission Mojo, right? <laughs> you talk a lot about Mission Mojo. So tell us a little bit about what that's all about because it's yeah. kind of Mission, Mission Mojo is something that I made up to describe the ability to uh, create extraordinary results being an ordinary person because I was an ordinary person with an organic day spa at the time so a bricks and mortar business when I stepped up to work with the natural health industry they for seven years they were trying to fight legislation that was literally going to close them down because there was going to be legislation to form a corporation run by the pharmaceutical companies to regulate their main competitor the natural health industry out of existence so within six months, the strategy I presented to them, it, it succeeded. We threw the legislation out, right? And they exist today. We saved 33,000 jobs and 350 something, 3,000 businesses, something like that. So everybody was telling me, you're a woman on a mission. You've got mission mojo. You were the one that was supposed to do this. So this was obviously your mission. And I investigated that more and then started testing that out with other people because a lot of the stuff that I did, other people did, but they didn't have the mojo. But I did it because I had the mojo because these were my soul expressions. And that's how it happened. So I went, wow, mission mojo. If we get people on their mission mojo, they're going to be able to create extraordinary results in their business. Right? So if you're not creating extraordinary results in your business, 
you're out of alignment somewhere. Right. And uh, back to that evolution we were talking about, a lot of times people doubt themselves in that space mm -hmm. when they're mm -hmm. evolving from one thing to another or growing. And you doubt, and I've been there. I've totally been there probably a couple times and I've doubted myself as to our, if I'm doing the right thing or if I should rebrand or different things come up or if I should do this live event or if I should host this po podcast around this topic. Oh my God. But you know what? We got to listen to our gut. Don't you think? I mean, how do you get better results with your mission mojo? I mean, is it listening to your intuition? Is it, what is, what is a way to really fix that? Or it, It's the better? integration. And before we go on, I just saw somebody's comment flash up on the screen, but I don't have my glasses on, so I couldn't read it. So if you could read it back to me, that'd be great. If you can find it and read it back to me, just so we don't miss anybody's comments. I am. Um, I've been commenting and asking if anybody had any questions. Right. Oh, so it was you. Okay. Yeah, we have Steffi Joe on the line and Ellen and Angela and Karen. And uh, right now they're just listening, but I'm happy to take questions. If anybody comments, I'm watching the screen, you guys. So yeah. <laughs> if I yeah. look really stupid, it's because I'm reading your comments. <laughs> I know, and I'm looking at you, but oh, right. look, there's the camera. <laughs> You're looking at me, and I'm looking like, uh, over here, because I'm trying to read the comments. <laughs> so how do you mojo up your business? Well, we've got to find out what are your core expressions. So what there's about five to eight of them, as I said, and then how do they synergize together? So to give you a very tangible example about that, I'm a psychic, intuitive visionary, so visioning is one of my expressions. I love to do that. Travel is one of my expressions. I didn't realize travel was an expression, but then I realized, yeah, I get very expressive when I travel. Now, other people, we're traveling, they travel, and it's cumbersome for them because it's not one of their expressions. Um, so we've got traveling, uh, visioning, transforming, writing, speaking, educating, and solving world problems. And this is a really key for me because this is when I realize I'm in the wrong niche. If I'm all about solving world problems, who's solving the problems of the world? It's the social entrepreneurs, the conscious entrepreneurs. It's not the politicians, right? They're creating the problems and, uh, and making money off of that. So they have no incentive to make any changes. So we... So we're the ones that are doing it. So that gave me my niche. And I went, this is my soul tribe. Wow. And this is how I discovered the best way to niche, which I do for my clients. It's like, we're going to find who your soul tribe is, what you're here to really solve in the world. Because now we're going to have you in a niche where you open your mouth. People are going to say to you, because this is what I get all day, every day from emails, uh, Facebook messages, uh, tagging on posts on Facebook, LinkedIn, and so on. I get I really heard what you were saying. It was like you were speaking to me. I resonated with what you were saying, right? I've been watching some of your videos on your Facebook page and I really resonate with what you're saying. That's what you want people saying to you because that's the attractive factor. That's where the purpose, law of purpose meets the law of attraction, boom, attractive factor. And then it starts to draw people to you and they get to, they get it in their own mind that they need to work with you because you're in the right niche according to your purpose, you're saying the right thing according to your purpose and you're expressing yourself according to your purpose and it just lines up just like a nice aligned spine. When you've got a nice aligned spine, you can run a marathon. When your business is aligned to all these core elements in your purpose and then of course the monetization piece is in place, then you can, you, you're there for the marathon instead of going bust within a couple of years and getting into debt. That's awesome. Wow. Okay. Uh, so, can we talk money now? Because let's talk I'm all about money. money. Owe me the money. So let's talk how to monetize this mission mojo and your purpose and all that. So, yeah, monetization is complex because it's different in today's world, right? In the olden days, when you went into a business in an industrial model, business was all about exchange. I've got a, I've got a product. I've got a service. I'm going to exchange it with some money. So now what you need to be thinking about in the exchange is that social good capital. How are you gonna make your um, your 
prospects feel that they're contributing to the greater good. And again, you can't just say, hey, 1% is going to charity. That's not going to cut it anymore. That's the industrial model. We need a new way of doing it. So to give you an example very tangibly, um, one of my, my my messages is, and I put, uh, you know, in my elevator pitch, my social capital is in my elevator pitch. So I'll say, uh, hi, I'm Nicola Grace, the mission mentor, and I help entrepreneurs clarify and monetize their mission to make a difference in the world and leave a legacy. So the, it, so people go, oh, if I work with you, I'm going to contribute to changing the world. Boom, there's my social good capital. I also have my capital, social good capital in my messages. One of my messages, when we on mass transition out of making money by making a difference, we're not only going to change the world, we're going to transform the monetary system itself so it's more equitable and prosperous. And we might even get rid of money altogether. Who knows? Um, I, as a visionary, I see that at some stage we're going to wake up and the money's gone. So <clears throat> um, that is a reality. So uh, what are we, you know, what are we going to do to prepare for that? And purpose is going to prepare you beautifully for it because you're doing exactly what you're here to do and you'll be taken care of. So that, so the cap, social capital is important in monetization. Monetization is also leverage. So if you're just selling one product and one service, my glasses and my cards, and that's all you're selling, you're not monetized, you're trading and you're literally just working. It's a job. You're working for yourself, albeit, but it's a job. When you've got leverage, you're properly monetized. So if I was to go away on holiday, is money still going to come in? And is my message still going to get out? And am I going to be making money without actually having to do the delivery? Am I automated? So the answer to that for me is yes, because I have, you know, several programs that people can start with without me. And then, you know, they can escalate up to actually working with me. So you've got to be thinking about that really important these days. Um, be thinking about the leverage within your monetization model. Yeah, leverage. I was just doing a video tip. Uh, just, just put it on my YouTube, actually, right before this, about delegating, you know. That's one way. Yeah. So it's, uh, we've, we've got to uh, automate, delegate, and systematize. It's got really hot. Woo, so I've just got my little fan. So sorry about the noise. I'm just turning it on. I think the temperature's just gone up a couple of degrees as it does because we're getting into our mid-morning. Do you have air conditioning? Uh, <laughs> yeah, but it's too noisy. Like, it's just way too noisy. So oh. but even, even if I had headphones on, it just comes through. So, yeah. Oh, my gosh. So you have to suffer without air conditioning if you're doing video or something recording. The, I don't know how I would survive. Mm, yes. <laughs> Okay. So you hear, heard it here, you guys. You can monetize your mission mojo when you have your purpose. So don't wait around trying to figure it out and wait for years until the download comes. Make sure you can, you know, get with somebody who can brainstorm with you. I know she, Nicola does that. I do that with people. There's probably a few other people that do that. But get with someone. You have to get with someone one-on-one -on -one or just, you know, it may not actually come in. The message may not come in. So tell us how to get more of you. I know uh, you want to offer a free discovery call to people. Mm -hmm. So uh, what can we do to if someone wants to learn more? I already put your website actually in the chat, but I'm going to put the link to the discovery call. Discovery here. Call. Tell yeah. Us yeah. yeah. In the discovery call, like uh, I'm an intuitive and I'm a psychic and I'm also really generous. So in the discovery call, I structure it. So I want to get clarity on the general direction you need to be going in and where you're off. Where are you out of alignment? I want to uncover and identify all of the things that aren't working, like where are the holes in the bucket and what what's actually holding you back so you know what you need to do moving forward. And then we'll create that big, early strategy of like here are the first steps to get you moving forward and what direction you want to go. In. And I, um, I I get a real sense that I can help people get to a certain level. And I also get a sense if I can't help them because the, of a mindset thing or I just feel it would be better for them to work with somebody else. Um, and I think it's important that the work gets done. It doesn't, you know, I can't do 
work work with everybody. So I'm very generous in that respect where I'll go, you know what, I know I can help you. This is how I can help you. And here are the price points because I've got lots of different price points from, you know, medium, high, medium, low, and also, you know, all that sort of thing. Um, or I'll get a sense because I'm a visionary and I'm psychic. I'll go, you know what, I think you'd be better off working with this person first or go do this first. So you get out there and you move. Now, the reason why this is so important, right, and I do these discovery sessions for people people is that I really think it's important that we start stepping up and too many people are spending way too long trying to figure things out on their own and they're leaving money on the table. They can't see what they can't see because they've never been where they want to be, right? If you're going somewhere you've never been before, you need a light and I'm not, I'm that light for you. And then if I'm that light for you for the rest of the journey, I'll let you know that or you'll get a feel, you'll resonate with me. And if you're not, we'll look at what's the best option for you moving forward. So you can book that discovery call at nicolagrace.com forward slash discovery and this week and next week I'm I've opened up several days so you'll find some appointments within your time zone um, because these are the two weeks that I'm doing discovery La, last two weeks I think <clears throat> before I start closing out for the year because I want people ending up strong Katrina it's like we're coming into that 90 day you know rush to the end of the year and you don't want to let that huge momentum of people looking at investing in themselves and 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 uh, and really helping themselves out uh, during this big spend sort of rush that happens. Right. No. And there's still plenty of time to end out the year really strong and get. Yeah. You have to get clear. You have to get clear on what you're doing, what you're selling, what you're offering, who it's for, um, and and then you can go out marketing more and talking to more people. But if you're talking to people and you're not super clear then it probably isn't resonating with a lot of people. So you're yeah. not going very far. So get more clarity. Clarity first and then marketing yeah. is what I always clarity say. Clarity leads to power. Too yeah. many people try to figure it out as they go, and that takes a really long time. And the clock is ticking on that D-Day that humanity has. You know, like I don't like talking doom and gloom because I'm focusing on working with social entrepreneurs who are creating the new world. But too many of them are just like, you know, plodding along instead of really getting out there and getting successful at what they're doing. But, um, we, you know, like the, the level of debt that we have in the world, and it's not just America or Canada or Australia, it's worldwide. It's it, 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 There is a point where unless we have this massive new growth in our economic structure, um, there's a D-Day on whether or not you could, we can pay it back and what are we going to do about that. And we keep pushing that D-Day off further and further. Um, and, you know, it's like a, a tooth. You know, you can only... You can only put your getting your teeth done off, you know, for so long until it becomes critical. And as a visionary, I see that we're really pushing up against that wall at that critical point. And I've seen that if everybody's monetized according to their purpose, like your role, your spiritual, soulful contribution to this planet in our transition, you will always find a place. And then the day we wake up and the money's gone, you know, it's already going into proper fiat currency and then all of a sudden at the push of the button you know the numbers just disappear we're all okay because we're exchanging what we love and we're taking care of each other and I think that um, I think that's the most important thing to be doing right now is is getting on that track you know who I don't wish I don't who I hope doesn't watch this message and doesn't find you Nicola is all the horrible people in the world <laughs> I was just thinking about as you're talking I'm like and I said I've been saying this for the last couple of weeks because all of the devastation and killings and fires and hurricanes and all the shit that's going on excuse my language but it's, it's, uh, it's really messed up like so much is going on in the world I want more of the good people in the world to make a lot more money with their purpose and their good gifts. And I want the bad people in the world to not understand this stuff and don't listen to the law of impact, you know, so they can like fall while we rise and take over. And um, hopefully, I don't even know. I'm not, I'm not the philosopher, you know, but yeah. I'm, 
It's well, you. it is the meek that will inherit the earth, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and and I, I hope the bad people transform into um, feeling that love is, love is, uh, are, is a really worthwhile cause. And, um, and yeah, it's, it, and you mentioned a really important point, which I'm really big on, because even though as a visionary I see money, we're going to wake up one day and the money's gone um, <laughs> because you just – if they just can't print it fast enough. But, you know, when that's coming, I don't know. If it's 10 years away, 15 years away, 30 years away, five years away, I don't know. But it's coming, right, because more and more people have less and less money at the moment, and that's not good because the good people do good things with money, which is why I think those of us that can make money have a responsibility to make a lot of money because we will do good with it. And we have to get over this idea that if I've got a spiritual gift or a talent, I shouldn't charge what I'm worth because in the back of your mind, if that's the belief that's operating, then you believe that if you rape, loot and pillage and plunder the planet, you are allowed to charge a lot of money, right? Yeah. You've got to yeah. flip that around. If you're not allowed to charge a lot of money or a reasonable amount of money, you know, for me, my rates are very reasonable um, just because I want to work with lots of people, um, then you, you that's what you're affirming. You're affirming that you can't make money by doing good in the world. You have to make money by doing bad in the world, and that's not good. Mm-hmm. It's the opposite way around now. That's what social entrepreneurship is doing to right. our world. It is shifting that value system, and we all need to be a part of it because then the world that we create as a result of that is just so much better for everybody. <laughs> so the longer you guys wait to figure out what your purpose is or your oh. mission or why you're here on the planet, the longer you're going to wait to make more money and not only make yourself and your family happier and in a better situation, but the more you're going to be denying the world to be a better place. So it's your yeah, fault. I mean, you're, get, <laughs> it's, you're, you're going to get left behind. Part, people. Get more mm-hmm. successful faster. Seriously, yeah. stop waiting around. Yeah. We need you. Yeah, it's like, you know, like you're just going to get left behind because Edelman Trust is telling us, People are wanting purpose and they're wanting a sense of greater good. So if that's not your 100% most important priority focus, then the train's leaving and you're standing on the platform. And it's very much like in the industrial age when people were still making buggies and buggy whips and people were buying motor cars, right? The motor cars were leaving town and the buggy whips were just plodding along to the point that they all went under and they couldn't survive anymore. And then, you know, it's a couple of years of hardship before they retrained and then they you know it's like you got to do it now and and it's like I've been saying this now for um from since 2009 so you've got to start preparing it from 2009 onwards I say prepare 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 and now I say if you haven't moved now's the time to move like crazy because you're a little bit behind as it is mm. Well said. Well, we've I've been commenting a lot of these things on the on the um, the feed. I hope we've got Sasha who joined us too, and hopefully some others are watching because I may not be having eyes on everybody. But uh, thank you so much for being here. Is there any yeah. last words? Yeah, a couple, a couple of things. Um, firstly, for those of you uh, who, who are watching this, if you want to tag me at um, Nicola Grace, the mission mentor, or at Nicola Grace um, the, in the comment section, when you're you know now or whether you're watching the replay on this, asking me a specific question, I can help you with that. And it'll come up, you know, how it comes up in Facebook, and you can answer it. Um, book a dist- strategy session if I am resonating with you, and you go, you know what, I think Nicola's going to help me get further faster or put Put these missing pieces together for me then go ahead and book that or uh, just head on over to um, the other link I've got there Katrina just over here on the left monetize your life mission and there's a free one and a half hour training on my five-step formula the from purpose to profit and um, monetize your life, your life mission. So the yeah. one thing I would, the one thing I would leave you, we, we actually got a bit sort of like oh bombastic there, talking about get out there, you know, make a difference and everything. Um, and I, I, I want to really reassure you from a visionary psychic perspective that every single person I've worked with, I've worked with people from Sudan. Right, who escaped genocide in Sudan. 
um, somebody in Indonesia, working with people in Hong Kong, in Europe, in Canada, in America, in New Zealand, Australia, South Africa, Zimbabwe, I've uh, Israel. I've worked with lots of different cultures and lots of people all over the world. And I can tell you, other than red blood being the one thing we all have in common, right, and a beating heart, the one thing that's showing up worldwide is this wakening up to feeling like you can make a bigger difference and you want to make a bigger contribution. That awakening is real, folks. It's real. So answer the calling and follow it because it's a very real calling from your soul to be part of the growing millions and millions and soon to be billions of change makers that are creating a better world. Hmm. Well, I think in the last few minutes, we just had about three or four more people join the group too. So, and you know, it's funny is you weren't even in my group yet. So I just added you so you can go and comment. Oh, okay, and, great. Yeah, okay. yeah. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. Um, I thought I would just add a little thing too. It's like sometimes we, we talk a lot about making a lot more money, right? What does that number look like? And I just want to throw in a resource for you guys. I have a need number worksheet, which is a really cool worksheet um, to figure out what you need to make every month. And a lot of times I say that to people and they say, well, I know how much I need to make. I need, or I need to replace my job income, which is a hundred grand a year. But you're not really thinking of the actual number. To leave your job, you don't need to replace your income. You need to replace your expenses or at least get close to it because when you leave your job, you have 40 hours a week to go make more money. So there's just that. And then also you don't think about things like delegating and investing in your business in certain ways. So I'm just going to put that need number checklist um, link in the chat too but uh, because – you have to know how much you want to make in order to really go after it and have goals. Otherwise, it's just this random talk in the ether that we're not, we're not, we don't have clarity around the number. So clarity mm -hmm. around what you're doing is great, but you also need clarity around the numbers. So definitely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go, go to her website, you guys, uh, nicolagrace.com forward slash discovery, get a free call. There's free um, trainings there. Hello, go and get free stuff. So until next time, when I figure out doing Be Live again, if I do, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but I want to bring you more of my awesome friends from all over the world who have so much gold to share. And uh, thank you, and we'll have a great day, everyone. Mm -hmm. Bye.